Hello comic book guys and gals and welcome to Comic Mag Musings. This fellow's your host, Bill Miller. This lovely lady is your co-host, Mrs. Musings. All right, I'm soups excited because we're doing part three of our CGC mystery grade reveal. We sent 25 books into CGC in 19 and 27. And they finally come back. And we did eight books in the first video, eight in the second. So we're doing the remaining nine, the balance, in this video. Mrs. Musings has covered up all the grades. I don't know them. I have not seen them. So you and I will find out together. And Mrs. Musings and I have both predicted the grades prior to sending them in for cleaning and pressing and subsequent grading. So we will find out which of us is closer to the actual grade assigned. All right, very excited. Let's find out with book number one. What do we have? All right, for you Cap fans out there, we have Captain America, issue number 323. And this is Marvel Comics, November of 1986. First appearance of the new Super Patriot, John Walker, and Battlestar, Lamar Hoskins. Um, Mark Gruenwald's story, Paul Neary and John Beatty art, Mike Zeck and Joe Rubenstein cover. And on the back we have Skittles and Starburst sponsoring some type of sporting equipment. Yes, free sports equipment. If it's free, it's for me. And I'll take three. All right, so Captain America, number 323. I, we both predicted a 9.4. The first set of books that we did from this box, boy, oh boy, we missed big time with several of them. The second uh, set were okay, so who knows? This seems like a crapshoot. 9.2. All right, so we both over-predicted by a, 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 half, a, a half a grade or... No, it wouldn't be a half a grade. It would be a point in this one. Um, white pages. Every So far, every book I think that we've gotten in the last two boxes has had a white page designation. So Captain America 323, a 9.2. All right, let's see what we have next. We have an ASM, and I'm selling all of these unless I tell you. I'll call out one if we're keeping it. Amazing Spider-Man number 332, Marvel Comics, May of 1990. Venom, Sticks, and Stone appearance. Jay Leno, a Malcolm Forbes cameo. David Michelini, or is it Michelini? Story. David, if you're out there, let a brother know. Eric Larson. And Mike Macklin cover and art. And on the back, we saw this before, Demon Sword, um, early console video game. All right, so Amazing Spider-Man, number 332. I predicted a 9.6. Mrs. Musings predicted a 9.8. So let us see. Survey says... A 9.6. And white pages. All right. Not bad. We'll take it. All right. Next one for you turtle maniacs out there. We've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue number 95. IDW Publishing, August of 2019. Kevin Eastman and Ben Bishop cover. Jenica becomes a Ninja Turtle. This is the second printing. Uh, Kevin Eastman, Bobby Cornell, and Tom Waltz story. Dave Wachter art. And on the back, we've got a super cool turtle drawing. I don't know if that's an ad for the next issue or what. But Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue number 95, we both predicted 
a 9.8. So let us see if we hit it right on the nose. Indeed we did. All right, we'll take it. 9.8 and I'm sure it's white pages. What? Just check it. Yep. Next one. Mine. Oh yeah, this is her. That's right. So this is definitely one we're keeping. Um, actually, I'll keep it and I'll sell it at a discount to Mrs. Musons. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute. So this is Wonder Woman, issue number 74 from DC Comics, September of 2019. This is variant cover. Um, G. Willow Wilson's story. Jesus Marino and Germanico Art, Jenny Frisson cover. And on the back, oh boy, we've got an advertisement for one of my faves, Johnny Quest. I think it's a uh, Blu-ray disc that they're advertising. All right, so Wonder Woman, issue number 74. Let's see what we predicted here. I We both predicted a 9.8, and we get burned every time with the Wonder Woman uh, issues that we keep. So we'll see if that streak of a lower grade continues or if we're finally rewarded. All right, we did get a 9.8. Good on us this time. 9.8, I'm sure it's white pages. Oh boy, we've got the green one, the angry one. The Immortal one? We've got Immortal Hulk, issue number one. Marvel Comics, August of 2018. Incredible Hulk number 718 with legacy number. Incredible Hulk number one... Uh, Incredible Hulk number 105, cover homage. Al Ewing story, Joe Bennett and Rui Jose Art, Alex Ross cover. Now, I've, we've already got one of these. Oh, and on the back, an advertisement for Universal in Orlando, Florida. Universal Studios, I guess, in Orlando. So we've already got one of these. So um, I think we got, what, a nine points? I can't remember. But at any rate, um, we won't be keeping this one, I don't think, because of that. If we didn't have one, we would be keeping it. Um... I predicted a 9.4. Mrs. Musings predicted a 9.8. And the answer is... Wow, we were both way wrong with an 8.0. I don't get those. We had two like that in the first part of this box. I mean, this thing looks pretty good. One tick... I'll check the notes, but I don't get it at all. How could you get a new comic that looks this nice at 8.0? But at any rate, that's what it is. And by gosh, it's white pages. All right. Next. Ooh, we've got X-Men. X-Men issue number 267, Marvel Comics, September of 1990, early Gambit appearance. Chris Claremont's story, Jim Lee and Wills Portacio cover and art. And on the back, it's an advertisement for the Ravenloft boxed set. Not sure what that is. Is that a... Is that literature? Is that DVD? Oh, so it's a role-playing game. Okay. All right, so X-Men number 267. We both predicted a 9.6. And let's see if we received said prediction. 
we did indeed a 9.6 and page quality white pages all right we'll take it next one oh boy we've got another thor god of thunder and this is issue number two Marvel Comics, January of 2013. First appearance of Gore the God Butcher and All Black the Necrosword. Jason Aaron's story, Asad Ribic, cover and art. And on the back, we have an Avengers Battle for Earth video game advertisement. I don't do the video gaming, but I know some of you kids out there are pretty heavy into it. All right, so Thor, God of Thunder, issue number two. I predicted a 9.2. Mrs. Musings predicted a 9.4. And let's see which of us is closer. Well, sadly, I'm the one who's closer. A 9.0. And the other, it's kind of weird, the other... Thor, God of Thunder, issue number two that we sent in in a previous shipment also received a 9.0. It's very odd how that happens. And white pages. White pages you expect. It's a new comic book. All right. We have another Turtles book. By gosh, by golly. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one. IDW Publishing, October of 2011. This is the second printing, the sketch cover. Kevin Eastman and Tom Walt story. Kevin Eastman and Dan Duncan art. Kevin Eastman cover. There's a lot of Kevin Eastman in there. And on the back, we have an advertisement for IDW's Star Trek Legion of Superheroes. I don't know what that is. What is that? Okay, so th that's a, uh, okay, that's a cooperation of IDW and DC to produce what I'm guessing are comics with both the, the Legion of Superheroes and the Star Trek cast and characters. All right, so Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue number one. I predicted a 9.6. Mrs. Musings predicted a 9.4. Let us see who is closer to the assigned grade. And it is a 9.8. All right. So, of course, I'm closer. I'm right again. I'm too humble to be boastful. But it does get... Honey, you can't cover up the moneymaker. Okay, you know that. Huh? What's that? You're sorry? All right. Don't worry about it. I'll let it go this time. Just don't let that happen again. And I'm assuming that was white pages. Do we even need to check on those new ones? All right. What do we got? Oh, boy. Is this the last one? Yes, it is. All right. We've got Savage She-Hulk, issue number one. Marvel Comics, February of 1980. Did you want to read this? Origin and first appearance of She-Hulk, Jennifer Walters. Origin of the Hulk, retold. Stan Lee story, John Buscema and Chick Stone art, John Buscema cover. Now on the back, we have that Lego Builder series again. Let us see. This is very exciting. Savage She-Hulk, I predicted a 9.6. Mrs. Musings predicted a 9.4. All right, survey says. Boo, a 9.0. So in this case, Mrs. Musings was closer. Does it have white pages? By gosh and by golly, it does have white pages. All right, and that is the last one. We hope you enjoyed the grade reveal from CGC with us. And if you did, I would encourage you to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you're alerted as soon as I release new videos. Thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. Remember, we're taking over the world one comic book at a time.